guys, this is Paul here, and welcome to a new Minecraft video, and of course guys, I'm sure you all know by now, but if you didn't, then title update 54 is out for Minecraft console editions, yeah, hey, so that of course is on all of the console editions, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PS Vita, Wii U and Nintendo Switch, so guys, it is awesome, now just to clarify very, very quickly, because some of you may be wondering why you haven't got the update yet, it's only out yet in, uh, obviously on Xbox, it's out on all different, um, you know, different locations for PlayStation, PlayStation is currently only on um, Europe, in Europe and uh, in Japan. Um, so basically, North America and other places will be available later on today. And with regards to Wii U and Switch, it will be out to either later today or early tomorrow. Usually, it's early in the morning, to be honest. So, so guys, on to the features then. I just wanted to race through that very, very quickly. Because I want to get to the main bit, which is the features, and it's going to be awesome. So with regards to the actual glide tracks, we're not going to be showing them in this video. I am going to be showing those soon to you, either in a video or possibly a live stream today. I haven't decided completely yet. I will, uh, of course, let you know on Twitter. Make sure to follow me on Twitter uh, as soon as you see this, see this, me saying this, <laughs> which is at Paul Plays, or you'll find the link in the description, and I will let you know if I'm going to be live streaming. Right, guys. So the very, very exciting thing is, look at this. I've got a woodland mansion straight in front of me. Hey! <laughs> and if you look at the map, I've actually found two. So in the bottom left is where I spawned. So there's a woodland mansion right at spawn which is awesome, and I just decided to fly around a bit, there could be more around here, but we're not, you know, we've basically got two already, so that's awesome, so Woodland Mansion, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna kind of go through the whole Woodland Mansion in this video, because obviously I just wanted to show the Woodland Mansion, because look how huge this thing is, if you haven't seen them before, uh, then here you go, these things are huge, they've got loads of different rooms, uh, they've got obviously like the all the different uh, illagers that have been popped inside there, and do we actually have illager spawn eggs i'm just gonna kind of have a look uh let's have a look i haven't actually i didn't actually see them uh spawn stray so these are all these ones i don't know if we've actually got the illager spawn eggs possibly possibly oh no we have we do here there they are they are the evoker uh so we've got the evoker uh the vex and the vindicator and yeah so what we'll do we'll, we'll have a look at those in a moment but yes, guys, Woodland Mansion right there. So, one thing I want to I wanna spawn in is parrots. These are the ones I've been looking forward to the most. Look at these guys. They're amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to tame some of these. Let's, t let's tame them. Basically, tame them with seeds. There we go. I want these rightly colored ones. There we go. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, they're so amazing. Look at these. <laughs> and they will basically, if you stand still for long enough, they will actually come and perch on your shoulder. But you can just tell them to sit down if you want to. There's not an option to, as far as I'm aware, unless I'm mistaken, then let me know. Uh, where you can actually set them to actually come, um, you know, sit on your shoulder. So I did it, I was playing around with it before, and I just kind of like backed into one. And one of the things as well um, is hope. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, go on, sit on my shoulder. Come on. Oh, that'd be awesome because I'm a pirate. But never mind. One of the things I want to do is this if you put a jukebox down and play, look at the pirates, look at them. <laughs> Look at this! It's the greatest thing ever! This is by far my favourite feature of this update. The fact that these parrots are just dancing around. <laughs> look how cute they look! Look at them! Just like... <laughs> Let's dance with the parrots. <laughs> That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So, right, on to the next one. We're just going to leave them there to dance and fly around. We've got llamas. Look at these llamas. Look at them. They're coming, obviously, different colours and things like that. And they spawn in different kind of biomes, which is awesome. So, these are these are amazing. So, um, how do you actually tame these? I think, it, is it by wheat? It might be wheat. They can feed them. Hmm... Uh, I don't know. I think actually no. I think it might be carpet blocks. Let's go. Let's just kind of uh, let's put a car get a carpet block. So no. Okay. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on with that. Uh, oh, you t sorry. You tame them like horses. That's what you do. So if you feed them the um, like the wheat, you'll have a good chance of uh, give him a bit of. Here we go. Let's give him that. Let's tame this one. Let's hopefully tame him because I fed him a bit. Come on, come on, come on, team. We'll get the hearts anytime soon, surely. Anytime soon. Come on, Mr. Llama. <laughs> there we go. He's team. There we go. We've got ourselves a llama. Awesome. And obviously, if you basically go onto 
Well, if you, if you sit on them, you can do it this way. But if you basically put carpet on them, all the different colours, they will have this. That is brilliant. Look at it. Look at that. I love the design of them. And also, very, very quickly, if you didn't know, you can go onto them as well and put a chest on them. So you can't do it. You have to, you have to literally stand by the side of them. Uh, and that way you can go for, therefore it opens up these inventory chests. So you can put, of course, additional items into the chest, such as those and that. Look at that. That's extra space for when you're riding your, um, and as far as I'm aware, you can't kind of, oh no, you can if you crouch. If you crouch, you can just access the, uh, the chest very easily. There we go. Look at our lovely pet llama. It's amazing. So the other ones, we've got the zombie skeleton horse. <laughs> it cannot be tamed. So can we ride it though? Is that the, uh, is that the thing? No, it can't be. Zombie skeleton horse. Uh, zombie zombie horse, sorry. And also we've got the spawn egg for the for the skeleton horse, which is cool as well. So if you want to, you know, creative mode or anything, spawn them in. But of course, we've got ourselves a nice little zombie horse here. So that's pretty awesome. So let's take a quick look at some of these beds then. These are all the... I'm just going to grab a bunch of them, of course. You've got your diable beds. Strangely, it kind of... When you place it down, it does turn red. Um... And an accident thing. And as far as, you know, as it, as it stands, there we go. Look, I'm bouncing on the bed. If you jump from a sort of bigger height, um, like if we just fly up here, I believe you do bounce. There you go. Look, kind of bounces like slime box a bit. I don't know if it, I wonder, let's just test this. Let's go, will it bounce you even higher? The higher you go, essentially. So the way the slime box was, it, you'll bounce up half the distance that you fell. And probably not, probably not. But that won't reduce fall damage completely. You will actually take it the higher you go. So there we go. There are the diable beds. And uh, yeah, so basically when you make a, di a, a bed, um, whatever colour wool you use is what the colour of the bed will. So you won't get the standard red anymore. Um, you basically, you know, obviously if you get white wool from sheep, then make a bed, you will get a white bed. And then you can choose to then dye it. Can you actually dye it from standing next to it? I wonder, I wonder. No, no, you have to do it. Uh, basically, there is, if you go to your crafting, um, we'll just go get, grab a crafting table. This is something that wasn't actually in the change log, but if you go here, you can actually... This is where you can kind of choose, you've got like a little interface, so you can choose to make, you know, your particular bed. Uh, obviously, if you've got different dyes and things like that, you can just choose, you know, you select a bed in there, pop a bed in there, then select the, which one you make it. There you go. Simple tutorial there for you. So let's have a look at these um, illages then. Illages, illages, illages. Where are they? <laughs> We're not going to go through every single thing. I'm just going to be looking at the... Um, like the main features really mainly the new mobs and items obviously we've got curses and things like that so of course this is the vindicator and he is armed with an axe so what will happen is let's very very quickly go into survival uh adventure and he's gonna chase me with an axe <laughs> get away get away from me get away quick change back change back change back oh, there we go <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. And there is some secret features that have been found, which I'm thinking I'm going to do a separate video to show you that. But that's the guy there. In survival or adventure, he will chase you with an axe. And we have got the Vex. Oh, yeah, these are the little... Um uh, little things and they are spawned by the evoker if I remember if I'm thinking correctly They actually are spawned by the evoker And uh, there you go. So we've got the little vex and there is the other one and it's the illusioner But the illusioner uh, has not been added in this update that has been confirmed So we've just got the evoker the vex and the vindicator So the vex like I say are these little kind of like pygmies that seem to be vanishing underground <laughs> Did they just did they always go underground is that what they do? Oh, no, they're flying around. There we go. <laughs> and they're not attacking mobs or anything. So they look quite... They actually look a little bit kind of cute, actually. Yeah, little kind of pixie things. But they will attack you with that sword if you're in survival. So what I want to do is I want to kind of go... I want to find... I want to kind of... Is that the... No, that's the... It's not the evoker. I kind of want to spawn this evoker in. Where is he going? Is he... Is he... Is he doing anything in particular? I kind of want to... I'm going to go into survival. Let's see see what it does yeah so he spawns the vexes and yeah <laughs> uh, yeah there's a how much, how much kind of damage whoa oh i forgot he does that as well <laughs> he spawns some weird like horrible thing and yeah it's, i love the animation though i love the animation of it that's really cool whoa quick 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 quick, quick. no we died <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Oh dear. So that is pretty. And here's the other woodland mansion that I found in the um, 
obviously the spawn area down here so that is awesome guys that is pretty pretty cool and i'm just making sure we've not had any kind of new nothing else that we're missing oh, oh sorry the observer block so this is the observer block and uh has multiple uses i'm going to very quickly show you something um if i remember if i'm thinking this is correct this is one of the kind of things um so if i put a trail down here and maybe attach a uh I'd put a lantern on it so basically that is where the redstone single comes out of it and multiple uses i believe that there because Obviously, a block has been placed in front of there. It will set off the redstone signal. And it doesn't, of course... Um, yeah, it's not like it's... It just kind of does it... It's. I don't know if it's temporary. There's probably ways of playing around with it. I've not really looked into these too much. But that is the observer block. And obviously, because that's the, that's the face, that's where things uh, interact. And I believe you can do stuff with, like, chests. And can you actually interact with this in any way? No. Maybe putting like a chest in front of it. I think if you uh, maybe, so if you put that in front of there, I think if you put stuff in the chest, will it do anything? No, it doesn't. I don't know. I need to have a play around with it, but that's one of the things anyway. When a block, I know definitely when I put a block in front of it, it will send off redstone signal because that is the uh, like the observing side, if you if you will. <laughs> so there you go, guys. We have got loads of awesome things, and it is amazing. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, other than the obvious like glide tracks and things like that. But I'm just gonna have to spawn some of these parrots in. Look at them. They're just oh, they are my new favorite mob. Parrots, I just love them and love them. And of course, you get these from a jungle. And look at them, we're getting loads, we're spawning loads of them. <laughs> there we go, maximum number uh, of animals, excluding wolves, bats, chickens, mushrooms. There you go, in case you were wondering. Look at all these parrots, my favorite, definitely my favorite. So, there you go, guys. These are the big main features of title update 54, which has finally come to Minecraft console. So, if you have enjoyed this video and love title update 54 as much as i do then make sure to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you can see all upcoming videos from me i'm going to be doing some other cool stuff related to title update 54 and uh and that kind of thing so um yeah I also i'm going to be showing you i think i'm going to be looking for some kind of seeds i may actually uh i may give you the seed for this one maybe maybe <laughs> i'm going to be searching for some uh seeds and things like that for woodland mansions to help you guys out uh, if you'd like to see that then let me know in the comments below but again thank you very much for watching and until the next video i'm going to say bye bye for now and i will see you all later